bullpen. And an 060 ERA. And missed way upstairs, ball one. Now, Christian Pache is next. 1 0. Swing and a miss. And they thought about a throw behind. And the count even at one and one. If this strike. The play, you're gonna you're trying to get him to get himself out. And as hard as this guy's throwing, if Ronald's just a little late, he's got to get him to chase the slider here, but broke his bat and popped him up. Anderson long run near the netting won't have a play. Acuna gets a few strikes. That proves your point. Yeah. If he loses him, he's still in the game and he's got Ozzy Albies. The pitch. Ball four. It skips up there. They're loaded. What a stop by Wallach. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> and a fly ball foul out of play. No balls in a strike. Late 0 and 2. 99. That was close. Ball and two strikes. He does. One ball, two strikes. Way high. Two and two. Well, here's where Garcia wants action. Like so many of the ninth. Fought it off. Two balls, two strikes. Good battle here with the brave second baseman. Ground ball toward first. Cooper race to the bag. Pitcher covering, and we are going to extra. In. And Garcia delivers a strike, an 87 mile an hour slider. Well, let's see if he can put a guy. Walk they've issued that scored was Acuna. That was in the first inning. Two balls and a strike. Little tapper. Ozzy's going to take third. Tough play at short. And a throw to first in plenty of time. Again, the Marlins with a big infield. Outfield straight away and deep. He took a shot at right. Fouled it away. A slider. One ball, two strikes. And a swing and a miss tied him up. That was nasty. Garcia's throwing hard and throwing well. Two outs. It was in the Atlanta fourth. And another strike. Marlins are trying to pick up the. Acuna has one. Ozuna has one. Swanson has one. Have two strikes left. Pitch. Broken bat. Hit to the left side. That is gloved. And the throw to first is a time. And in 10 innings. Side as Aguilar in even with the grass. Pitch. Check swing into the Atlanta dugout. That costs Acuna a strike. It's 0 1. Nothing in one. Nothing in two. Well, that's a spot. And this Marlins pin has been really tough. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Acuna down on three pitches. Braves are 0 for 13 now with runners in scoring position against the Miami Penn. Us still on the third base side of the second base bag as Garcia, with that slider, buries it. Freeman fouled three innings this year. They're down a run. They have two outs left. Another nasty pitch. No balls, two strikes. Smoked off the netting. And glad the netting was there on that one. Yeah. Again, Garcia sets. Here it is. And Freddie just did get a piece of that. Hoping Freddie Freeman can bring home Enciarte. The pitch. 
High fly ball, right center field. Marte drifts over. He's got room. Ender's going to tag. He's coming to third. Here comes the throw. It's strong, but off target. Ender 90 feet away with the tying run, but the slider strike. Yeah, I didn't think you'd see a fastball first pitch there, but nothing in one. And the Braves are down to their final strike. No balls, two strikes for Ozuna. Here it is. He didn't swing at that one. Good try, one and two. Now the one two. He struck him out, and the Marlins have won the first three games of this series. Six five, your final in Texas today, and it's just like that. I know this is, isn't relative, relevant, but I'm going to bring it up to your point because it's a great one. And I, I ran across this stat earlier difference that we see about who he was a few seasons ago and who he is now. And I think it's interesting that even he was willing to kind of make that and, and look for those improvements, knowing that Lone Depot Park is his home. We're seeing those fly balls carry out of the yard. Well, that's he's just been squaring everything up, or, or so it seems. This one fouled. I'm just here for the superhero jokes. That's really why I'm here. Just, you just want the. the I want the spectacular. The jump. I want the spectacular athleticism. Is what I want to see. Jump into it. Throw your weight around a little bit. Longoria. Yimmy Garcia brings it home. And strikes him out 95 miles an hour from Garcia. One away. Here's Brandon Belt. Hot shot, right field. Jazz is there. Played perfectly long throw to Cooper, and there are two away. Alex Dickerson with two outs in the ninth. And he takes a strike. Roll change. And I don't know if he's going to give it back. He may not. He's looked really good. And it, that goes back to last year, too. Dickerson, a base hit to keep this one going. I honestly think he's kind of been waiting for this opportunity for quite some time. Now we've seen him. Now Buster Posey. And a strike. It was not closing. That was Brandon Kinsler last year. Kind of acquired the job after the first couple of blown saves for Anthony Bass. And I think at the end of the day, he outs tonight. He's got Posey set up 0 and 2. Here it comes. A little far outside. Run homer in the bottom of the eighth. The difference right now. Ball and two strikes to Posey. This is low and away. Brings home a 2 2 pitch that Posey fouls down the right field line and out of play. Of course, going back to the Garcia Dodger days. Here's a 2 2 pitch. He's got a piece. Battle continues. Another 2-2 from Garcia. Ground ball. That's Anderson across the diamond. It's a Marlins win. Second with these extra inning rules. Donovan Solano the hitter. And he takes a first pitch strike. 0 and 1. Slater leads off a second. Garcia brings it home. And that one fouled back right side. For Yimmy, forcing Faye on the mound since becoming the Marlins closer. And to center field, having to wait a second with Slater. So it'll be first and third. Certainly no surprise that Solano comes to the bag over there at third. Middle infielders pinched as well. Squares, pulls back and takes a strike anyway. Ball, let's see if he does it again. Bet he does. Drops it down. Alfaro throws to second. They get oh. it there. And Stank put it third, most importantly. Again, first and third, but now one out. A 
one one. This is outside. Now back to two and one. Yeah, it's the quarter. Two and two. Hey, oh. there you go. Another slider. Doubles up. <laughs> he got through that inning. And now Belt out toward right center field. That is going to get down. Slater is in to score. Di Sclafani being held. Yeah, he squirts away from Alfaro. Ron Votos was going to send him. He actually was waving him around third base and then decided to hold up. Ground ball. Jazz gets to it behind the bag. Off balance. Oh, throw. Yeah. And Aguilar made the play. Aguilar made the play. Cini to lead it off. Ryan Mountcastle, Mike Franco. First pitch in there for strike to Mancini. High, but a career long seven innings today. Was fought back, scored two, and he picked up the win. Ground ball right to Jazz at second. Stole a base in the fourth. A ball outside. One in the top of the seventh. At Citizens Bank Park. Daniel Castano and Aaron. Swing and a miss. Beat him upstairs with the fastball. And Eric. Early, firm, late, and up. Marlins have three on the left side of the infield against the veteran. Perfect pitch, strike. Chopped up the middle. Jazz is there. Over to first.